the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, welcome to the second day of consecration. We begin this day with the prayer. O Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom you did merit to bear Alleluia. has risen as he said. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord has risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant that we may obtain through his Virgin Mother the joys of everlasting life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us consecrate ourselves to Mary, Mother of God, my Queen and my Mother. Today, I give myself entirely to you and to show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my whole being without reserve. Therefore, good mother, as I am your own, keep and guard me as your property and possession. Amen. Second day of consecration. There is a story from St. Louis D. Montfort's life that particularly expressed his passion, which we pondered yesterday. In the town of Pont Chateau, St. Louis inspired the peasant to build a huge monument to the Passion of Christ on a neighboring hill. For 15 months, hundreds of peasants volunteered their skills and labor to build it. When completed, it stood as a massive structure, a real labor of love. And on the day before it was supposed to be dedicated by the bishop, a word got back to Louis that his enemies had convinced the government to destroy it. They had lied to the authorities saying that the structure was actually meant to be a fortress against the government. When Louis received this disappointing news, he told thousands of people who had gathered for the blessing ceremony, We had hoped to build a Calvary here. And let us build it in our hearts. Blessed be God. One thing about doing the Lord's work. It doesn't always turn out according to our plans. For example, St. Louis truly had planned that his monument to Christ would last more than a day. Yet, the saint obediently accepted the destruction of his plan and blessed God. Because of this kind of detachment from his own will and attachment to God's, Louis became an instrument used by God to accomplish even mightier works. So although his physical monument was destroyed, Louis' teaching eventually became a huge edifice in the church that exercised great influence on many popes and on even Catholic spirituality. Indeed, Louis de Montfort's passionate efforts paid off in the end. 
even if he did not see the fruit himself as we are just beginning our preparation for consecration to jesus through mary our mother let us ponder some of the support various popes have given to saint louis teaching may the testimony of their support strengthen our resolve to journey on to consecration day and may it help us to trust that our consecration truly will bear great fruit in our life even if we don't yet fully understand how bless pope pius 9th stated that saint louis de montfort devotion to mary is the best and the most acceptable form pope leo 13th not only beatified louis de montfort in 1888 granted a church indulgence to catholics who consecrate them to mary using louis de montfort's formula saint pope pius the 10th in his marian encyclical adum deum illuma the saintly pope expressed his own dependence on louis de montfort in writing that encyclical pope pius 12th canonized canonized saint louis in 1947 and in his homily for the mass of canonization referred to louis de montfort's marian teaching as solid and right saint pope john paul ii promoted Louis de Montfort's teaching more than any other pope Pope John Paul's papal motto was as you know totally yours which he took directly from Saint Louis de Montfort's shorter prayer of consecration second that John Paul described his teaching of true devotion to Mary as a decisive turning point in his life today's prayer come holy spirit living in mary prepare me to give myself fully to living out this true and solid devotion let us pray O most blessed mother heart of love heart of mercy ever listening caring and consoling hear our prayer as your children we implore your intercession with Jesus your son receive with understanding and compassion the petitions we place before you today especially dear brothers and sisters please place your prayers and petitions we are comforted in knowing your heart is ever open to those who ask for your prayer we trust your gentle care and intercession those whom we love and who are sick or lonely or hurting dear mother help all of us to bear our burden in this life until we may share eternal life and peace with god forever amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now 
and ever shall be world without end amen immaculate heart of mary pray for us sacred heart of jesus have mercy on us most precious blood of jesus protect us and may the blessing of almighty god descend upon you and remain with you forever the father the son and the holy spirit thank you for joining us today may god bless you always